very good afternoon to all of you and thanks again for joining our webinar on bills of material in tile erp9 we have basically using this bill of material in manufacturing industry what now what is the bills of material is nothing but very good afternoon to all of you and thanks again for joining our webinar of bills of material in tally erp9 presented by software work india private limited now we will be learning how tally provides such a feature of bills of material and how we can use this bill of material using our production entry feature or using our manufacturing general feature here now what is the bills of material here a bill of material sometimes we can we say as a bomb is a list of a raw material sub assemblies and intermediate assemblies or sub components and quantities of each needed to end an end product so to manufacture the finished product all the final product we need the list of the raw material so using this bills of material or the bills of constitute of the material it happens that the final product will get manufactured and all our raw materials and the sub assembly products or any intermediate products get consumed where we can say this feature is or what we the process we say as a bills of material so what are the raw material assemblies required that is called as the bill of material to manufacture that final product even during this process of production of the final product a scrap is also been getting generated now bomb features in tally erp9 now what are the different bomb features in tally erp9 first of all we can use the manufacturing general and the bomb features using this tally erp9 product second multiple bomb can be created here thirdly a same bomb can be copied to the other materials so all such features are available in tally erp9 first of all we can create a multiple bomb we can use the bomb during manufacturing general entry and a same bomb can be copied to the other material also by or other material by changing the quantity or by changing the atom or by changing the quantity so that the continuous or the repeated process of again filling the raw material will be avoided or it will save over time by using this copy of the bomb features now we will be go going through this product walkthrough as how we can create the bill of material so let's get started here now this is my tally erp9 company here okay now first of all i just show you this is the bomb now for example i am creating an mi mobile phone which is my finished product okay so this is my atom creation i have gone to the atom creation again i just explain you i am going to the masters inventory info stock atom i have just used i have already created an atom so i am just opening that atom here mi mobile phone this is under finished goods okay this is numbers and then you will get an option of alter bomb that is bill of material these features will come when you use f12 features f12 here allow enable component list of materials so these features will come only when you enable under the f12 the stock atom configurations okay now here you will be getting here alter bomb so if i say yes here you can see here i have defined one name standard process so for manufacturing this mi mobile phone what are the raw materials required so for one mobile phone i require aluminum oxide gloss and which from which go down it will go so two numbers then metals mobile stores got on three numbers then coltan mobile stock one numbers and this batteries as is two numbers so this is all my raw material so this is what we can say as the bomb so for the standard process for standard process bomb for manufacturing this mi mobile phone for one numbers i need all such raw material so this is my what we can say as a list of the components required or what we can say as a composition list to manufacture this one number of mi mobile phone here okay and even we can create multiple bombs so suppose if you want to create other bomb so you can use it let's say second bomb feature so you can use you can put any name here and again you can use the other quantity and the other parameters of the raw material or the other composition of the raw material in this second bomb okay in this way you can create here multiple bombs here 
so third fourth or whatever the name you want to give so this is what we have the features of creating the multiple bills of material in one single finished product here okay so i i have created all this my as a raw material you can see this is all my raw material see bomb has to be defined only in the finished product not in the raw material here so you can see here i have defined these are all my raw materials you can see these are my raw materials called down so i have defined in the mi mobile phones you can see here mi mobile phones alter form and this one i have done it correct so this is how i have done it now if i am manufacturing also some some mobile phones and if i need to copy the same bomb or need to change the component material will be the same but only need to change the quantity i can do it i just go with this uh, bomb here i just yes and then i can use here let's say samsung standard bomb so i just press here okay i will copy here or you can copy from here copy all from bem and my mobile phone standard process here so you can see here I just remove here. I can rename that processor, and all that components list have been copied here. So I can change the quantity if required. If I can remove the quantity also, but it saves my time by again putting the same material or again refilling or filling the same material here. I can change the name of also here Samsung Standard Bomb. okay so in this way there is a functionality to copy the bomb from the other raw material so i have shown you second feature also so we can create multiple bomb we can copy that bomb or that the bills of material from one material to the another material now how we can use this bill of material so by using the manufacturing journal so i created a voucher type here accounts info so i'm going to the accounts information from accounting here accounts info voucher type and let's say i already created so i just opened it manufacturing general so i have given a name manufacturing general under stock general that's very important here it should be under stock general the numbering whatever you define and here there is an option here use as a manufacturing general i say yes here so that's very important you have to define here and now after creating this manufacturing general we can put an entry here so you can see i am going to the inventory watchers from the transactions i am going to the inventory watchers i can use stock general and then i have created my own template manufacturing journal and this is what the format of the manufacturing journal here okay so let's say on 30th april i am manufacturing here so this is my bomb one entry okay name of the product so let's say here i am my mobile phone now here you can see here it will ask me which bomb so you can pass the manufacturing journal what we can say is a production entry okay or the final production entry using the bomb or without using the bomb so if you need to use the bomb i can select the bomb i can select alternative bomb or second bomb also or i can select the not applicable so that i can fill the material by itself so i can pass the this manufacturing general entry either by selecting the bomb or without selecting the bomb but since i'm using the bomb i will select standard process here from which go down so i select here finished product go down here and then i will select a quantity here so let's say my quantity here i am selecting here two numbers so you can see here automatically the raw material of that particular final product has been getting auto prefilled with the go down and with the quantity compositions has been automatically come and the rate will be pick up from the closing stock rate or what is the rate as per the valuation method we have been selected in the atom rate so please make a note the rate would be automatically picked up as per the valuation method what you have selected for that particular atom so you can see here you can change if you want to change the rate also so this is the automatic process here from this manufacturing general your final product gets manufactured through this bomb process where the quantity get auto profiled along with the atom okay and then you can use here if any by product or co product or scrap has been generated so you can create that separate scrap product and you can make this entry by filling that atom here 
so you can use the scrap or the byproduct or the co-product by creating the separate item and you can record this if any of the additional cost is there so you can select an additional cost like labor charges you can put an amount here let's say 12,000 then you can select a picking charges so you can fill up the amount here 1500 so if any additional charges is been levied in manufacturing that entry or conversion cost something like that so you can add that charges now you will get the final production or the per unit of that particular product so for you can see the per unit or the effective rate of that particular item is 22,150 to manufacture this MI mobile phone. So this is what is my cost of the rate or cost of the goods rate for manufacturing here this MI mobile phone or cost of the manufacturing cost of this MI mobile phone. So this is very important here the manufacturing entry or the production entry where we are selecting the final product. We can do without bomb or with bomb. We can select a go down we can put a quantity the items will be auto prefilled the consumption can be done you can see the consumption has been automatically done the prefilled the labor charges the packing charges and we get the effective rate in this way we can use here being production entry done so this bomb features helps us in recording this manufacturing general entry and it directly picks auto prefills the product with the quantity so it saves the time and we get the proper manufacturing cost of that particular product so this is the feature of the bomb or bills of material in tally erp9 so this is all about the bills of material which is very important feature in the manufacturing industry because every manufacturer requires a bomb feature here or in their erp they require the bomb feature which is also available in tally erp9 so this is all about this uh, bills of material so for any queries or for anything uh, how to implement bills of material or you are finding any difficulties in this bills of material please contact at this number and also we have whatsapp number uh, please note on our email increase at the rate so india.com and we have also published the new event page www.sawindia.com slash events where you can register for the upcoming events webinars workshops and uh, can go for it okay so this is all about uh, our bills of material i hope this video would be very useful to you and would help you in creation of bills of material during your practical manufacturing or operational process flow if you are using tally rp9 so thank you very much and hope we will be coming again with the other webinar with the interesting topic thank you